Hello, uh, I'm gonna show today a dam bridge model. It's gonna be based in a real case that happened here in, in the north of Spain. Uh, this uh, dam here uh, called Presa de Vega de Pera uh, broke and six minutes, ten minutes later, it flushed the town of Riva del Lago and uh, 150 people uh, died. So it was a very dramatic event. So to find some data, we have uh, found this uh, research article that give us the dam bridge shape, as well as the uh, flow peak created by the bridge, and also the height reached in the charge of three meters of the water. So how do we do this model is in the geometry window, we have two D, two, two D flow areas. So one perimeter for the, for the um, um, lake, for the reservoir, and another one for the downstream area. And they are connected through a 2D connection. This 2D connection is a structure type weir and we only give the height of uh, the the um, of the dam that is uh, 1526 meters and in, in the plan we select that we want to bridge this structure and we give the uh, final shape of the of the um, of the dam so we give the center station final bottom width final water elevation, left side slope, right side slope, all these parameters, the shape we enter. The bridge we are coefficient as well, we have chosen 144. The bridge formation time 0 0.1 hours, it's a very fast uh, break. And yeah, it's uh, the breaking time, it starts at zero, where we also have uh, the reservoir at the top level. And it looks like this. So it's just very fast moving water and it flashes the town. And to check that the bridge was um, behaving well, we created here a profile and plotted the flow through and the peak flow, uh, it's uh, pretty close to the data that we have from the article. We can also see all the wave through the Sanabria Lake. And this is the town. Uh, this is the downstream water from Sanabria and this is the wave from the from the dam and go down. And the water reached three meters at the church. And this is also another view uh, from the 3D uh, tool that uh, Hegras has. It's a bit slow and yeah, but it's still, it's, it's, it's a nice tool to visualize the data from a different perspective. So we can see the water flowing down through the valley and reaching town and expanding through the lake. Yeah. So that was it. And yeah, that's me and the dam this winter. And mm, mm, yeah, so this is the model. And we, uh, I can show you, yes. So this is the model and the 2D flow area downstream. It's a bit slow, I'm gonna turn off the uh, uh, cross light. Mm -mm. So here we have um, a mess of 10 meters and we can see the connection. We cannot see the connection because it's not, yes. But this is the connecting area and here, for example, something interesting to, to comment is that we have created a refinement region with a, a larger mesh so that the computational time of three seconds is still okay in this area because 
um, the water is going really fast. So if you think about it, the water is going to be much faster in this area until it dumps a little bit. So here we need a bigger, larger mesh so that all the model was stable. Um, yeah, that's it. I can also show it once again in here. Play and break. Very fast. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. I hope you liked it and if you have any questions, just uh, put it in the comments and thank you. Bye bye.